Let's go now to Christy Cooper, who's on the scene in Maribyrnong. Christy, what's happening where you are? We've seen some extraordinary pictures. We've seen, uh, and we just got informed by the Premier, that 11 relief centres have been set up around the state. Are you at one of them? That's right. This is one of those 11 relief centres. We're here in Maribyrnong. There are around 100 homes in this area that have all been flooded and many of those people have come here. There are about 50 people in there at the moment. They're getting food, shelter, charging their phones. A lot of people are really distressed. There's quite a few people in there in tears at the moment. Some have lost pets, some have lost homes. Many of them, like Antoinette, who I've got behind me, have been separated from their pets. Antoinette, you're waiting for for someone at the moment tell yeah, me to arrive with Rocco because we did get separated um, the SES did stay with him because he couldn't fit in the boat but um, he did go to the lost dogs home but I believe he's on his way now and Rocco is your beloved Staffy, is yes, that right? Yes, he's an American Staffy. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, he's a big baby. He's about 13. All he wants to do is get patted. But um, because we had um, Robin, she's my neighbour, um, we had her cat as well so we couldn't have them both but he was too big he's 40 kilos he's too fat so he couldn't stay in the boat <laughs> i saw some amazing pictures from this morning what was that experience like for you oh it was i can't I, you know that's just yeah i can't even think about how it was I, I could just see that water just rising so rapidly you know it was um we were laughing at the time but i think that's that's how we we, we were well, we dealing were. with it yeah the adrenaline you just laugh at it but now that we've sort of like settled down, it's actually hit us. And what do you think you'll be going home to? Well, nothing. We believe that our I know my are house is under, under flood, totally. Yeah. The cars are in the driveway. They're, they're totaled. Who, who sent you this picture? So that's my neighbour, Mike. He's still there. He's still there. So, um, yeah, the cars are flooded, the house is <coughs> flooded, because that's, that's my apartment level. And that's at 11 o'clock, so it's, it's 1 o'clock now. It's two hours ago, and we believe it's um, that you can't see the cars now. And what's that like for you to see those pictures? Uh, I was okay, like Antoinette said. I'm gonna cry now. Like Antoinette said, it was all you know, getting through the water, getting into her place up top level, and then when I see things like this, I know my house is wet. <laughs> And, and everyone's okay. Yeah, absolutely. The cat's okay. I'm okay. That's yeah. you're okay. We're okay. Well, last last we heard, now. the the water had peaked. It sounds like that's not going to help your homes too much for now. But hopefully, the damage won't get any worse. No, it's just worse. It's bad as it's going to be. Yeah, that much water is it's bad. We've lost our car. But my high heels are okay, right? <laughs> In the cupboard last night, I thought anything yeah. I've got to save is the high heels. Yeah, you do. <laughs> You've got your priorities right. Yeah, the frock and heels, they're safe. Yeah, they're safe, <laughs> I know. It's amazing that you've still got a sense of humour at a time like this. It's a pretty well, amazing community. Can you tell me what's happening in this relief centre here? There's so many people helping oh, they're out. They're amazing. They're just talking to people. Like, I've got my 87-year-old neighbour, Mary, here, and they're having a chat to her. My other neighbour across the hallway, she just turned up before. She was a mess. She had to get the SES to break the door down to get her out because the water had got too high. Yeah, Did you say your 87-year-old neighbour? Yeah, she's Mary, here too. She's here to, we drag, yeah, I dragged her out this morning. Yeah. We're at my home because... Oh, here he is now. The dog's There's coming. The dog. Guys, oh, don't go anywhere. Watch this. Oh, God, get this. This is a very emotional <laughs> reunion about to happen. This is Rocco. For example, you've got an academy player this year. Come on, sweetheart. Really Come on, you've got him. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry for leaving you there with that strange. I'm so pretty safe. <laughs> Tell me what's going through your mind right now, Antoinette. It's okay. Because I lost my 17 year old Staffy in March. He died of old age, but. Um, Rocco's 13. He would have been like fretting, but I did give him a lot of um, uh, their, their calming tablets, their health ones. So he's a little bit overwhelmed, I think. But he's a big boy, so yeah, I'm just glad he's here. Oh. Aren't you, darling? I'm so glad he's here too. <laughs> Amazing. 
I've never met Rocco before, but I think I might cry too, guys. <laughs> um, they, you know, they're just family. You just can't leave them behind, seriously. I'd rather save the dog than myself. But, yeah, he's fine. All right, Christy, we may leave them, have some time by themselves.